July 22nd, 1987. The Lord speaks. Vasula, can you see all these souls? All are waiting in line. She writes, I saw Jesus with a group of souls behind him. She asks, Jesus? The Lord answers, I am. Yes, there were souls. She writes, Immediately after I saw these souls, another image appeared to me, an image of many years back. I must have been 17 to 18 years old. I used to see often, in, for example, the sitting room where I would be, on the floor, sitting, many souls who were hushing each other to keep still and just be there around me, like as if they would come to listen to a speech. At the time, I was wondering why I saw these dead people, as I used to call them, but paid no more attention to them, since they never bothered me. And sooner or later, I was quickly distracted by other things around me. It was very often, and rather common, but I paid not much attention to all this. The Lord speaks. Yes, Vasula, they were waiting. She asks, Waiting for what, Lord? The Lord says, They were waiting for you to grow. She asks, Did they know? The Lord answers, Yes, they knew. I have waited for you too to love me and amend. Loving me fervently repairs. And so, those souls in purgatory are healed. The footnote reads, That is, purified. The Lord continues, Those souls in purgatory are healed snatched from the purifying fires and can finally come to me. Vasula, do you know how much these they suffer while in purgatory? Their desire to see me, but being unable to? How much they depend on you? Ah, Vasula, will you help them? Vasula speaks. Yes, Lord, I would love to see them with you finally. The Lord says, Have my peace. I, the Lord, will show you how you will help them. Seek me always. Sacrifice and never complain. I will help you to indulge my desires. Beloved, love me, for your love cures them. Vasula asks, Jesus, will you let me know if they are back with you? The Lord answers, I will. Vasula speaks. Jesus, what about the Jehovah's Witnesses? The Lord speaks. Let them give you all they want. Receive them with me. You will understand why I have sent them to you. Lean on me, beloved. Vasula speaks. Jesus, will I not meet any of your own world? The Lord speaks. Let me tell you at once. I will take and place you among my own. Daughter, had you merited any of my graces, I would have shown you how love leads without having had to face difficulties and having all doors, footnote reads, doors meaning Satan and his adepts are allowed to infiltrate and write his insults or give me the wrong word. God has taught me, though, Because of this, how to recognise the demons. Satan can never leave a soul in tranquillity by his presence. It's a giveaway. The Lord continues. Having all doors open, Vasula asks, meaning? The Lord continues, meaning that you had not merited at all these graces I had given you. And it is out of my infinite goodness that I have looked upon your misery. From now on, desire me more than ever. You will earn every single grace by giving me acts of love. Every act of love will restore all what you have destroyed. Vasula asks, What had I destroyed, my God? The Lord answers, All good things given by me and having them turned into evil. Honour me, I love you. Vasula speaks. Lord, 
Will you help me do these good acts? The Lord replies, I will. Remember, all I give will have to be freely too. Be given freely too. I want my altar pure. Vasula writes, God showed me that I never merited any of his graces. So now I come back to him rather timidly, begging. She speaks, Lord, the Lord answers, I am. Vasula, allow me to be in your light. The Lord, be in my light and stay. Vasula, allow me to lean on you. The footnote reads, The word allow, to ask, was taught to me by him, because he as God and sovereign always asks me his creature in this way. Allow me to do so and so. The Lord answers, I allow you always. Vasula, allow me to hold your hand and be near you. The Lord, come into your father's arms. Vasula, allow me to talk to you. The Lord, be one with me, face me, be my reflection, and let me speak for you. Vasula, Allow me to be consoled by you. The Lord, little one, I will be your consoler. Come, feel me, synchronise with me, be one. Annihilate in me, let me possess you entirely and reign over you. Let me thrust you in my heart, approach, be in me and I in you. How I love you, daughter. She writes, I felt God pleased. She says, I love you, Lord. She writes, I felt his love covering me entirely. The Lord speaks, Be with me now. Stay. The footnote reads, I was preparing to get up and go. The Lord continues, Stay. Refuse me nothing, Vasula. I cry out loudly. My cry resounds and shakes the entire heavens. My cry should have been heard by my souls who love me. They must have heard me. Tell them that they have not imagined it. It is I, Jesus, beloved Son of God. I want them to unite and to propound unity, peace and love. I want them to be like an army of salvation, repairing all what has been destroyed and distorted. My cry is coming from the very depths of my wounded soul. Bless me, daughter. Vasula says, I bless you, my God. May your wishes come true. The Lord says, Stay faithful to me. Integrate into my body. Hold on to me.